Alright guys, time for another product review. And this is another one of the new to me items I picked up in Buffalo. This is Jack, the Jackfruit Company's Sesame Ginger Jackfruit. It's an excellent source of fiber, 100 calories per serving. It's nut free, dairy free, and vegan. And if you don't know yet, jackfruit, young jackfruit I should spec uh, specify, has really taken the vegan world by storm. People are making pulled pork sandwiches from it and so forth. Now my mom grew up with jackfruit in Jamaica, so she saw this and she was a little skeptical. She's always loved jackfruit. I think it's her favorite fruit, but she likes it when it gets ripe and it's beautifully sweet. So this young jackfruit obviously is not sweet yet. They pick it, I don't know who figured this out, but they pick it while it's not fully ripe, I guess. So the flavor and I guess texture is different. This was the sesame ginger jackfruit and it says it's a teriyaki inspired blend of soy, sesame and ginger. Keep refrigerated, meaty texture. Um, let me just read more about this. It says our mission is to transform healthy eating, farmers livelihoods and humanity's eco footprint for the better. Jackfruit is a miracle crop. A single tree yields two to three tons of fruit each year. That's a lot. And the fruit is rich in body cleansing, hunger satisfying fiber. With its meaty texture, jackfruit is used in place of meat, low in calories and free of cholesterol, soy and gluten. It's the healthy main dish. Now this has soy because it's got soy sauce in it. Uh, since 2011, we've been working to bring you the highest quality jackfruit foods sourced ethically and sustainably we aspire to introduce this wonder fruit to the world we aim to be the global di direct to farms wait the global leader in jackfruit supply chains direct to farms for global good we are excited to share our recipes with you and we hope you'll share your recipes with us the possibilities are endless so it just kind of shows you what jackfruit looks like that's the center this flesh you peel there's a seed pod it's got a lot of seeds typically in the um in the jackfruit. I've got my pan warming here. Uh, and it says quick and easy, ready in less than five minutes. Um, it's ready to eat from the pouch, really. Empty the contents of the pouch and using your favorite dish or dishes. Serve great with rice or noodles or in a salad or lettuce wrap. The pouch is not microwavable. So I'm just going to put this in my pan. I've not told you any of the ingredients or n uh, nutrition facts yet. So it says here, the ingredients are young jackfruit. Again, ripe jackfruit is sweet. Uh, it's got water, soy sauce, cane sugar, ginger, toasted sesame oil, sunflower oil, toasted sesame seeds, and garlic. It is made in a facility that also processes nuts, wheat, dairy, and soy. And do not use if the pouch, pouch is bloated or leaking. And the calorie nutrition facts, for every half a cup, um, you get 100 calories, 15 from fat, you have 2 grams of fat, 1 gram of saturated fat, 0 trans fat, 0 cholesterol, 160 milligrams of potassium, 570 milligrams of sodium in this uh, brand, or this uh, flavor, sorry. 19 grams of uh, carbohydrates, 5 grams of fiber, 9 grams of sugar, 2 grams of protein. It has zero vitamin A, zero vitamin C, but it has 4% calcium and 6% iron. I'm going to open this up. My mom is not here right now, but uh, we'll see what she thinks when she gets back. <laughs> I'll let you know. She was a little skeptical. Again, she's used to sweet jackfruit. Uh, she grew up in Jamaica and one of her favorite fruits. Actually, as I've said before, she claims it is her favorite. So uh, this is what it looks like. And I was going to grab scissors, but it has a handy little divot there, whatever you call that. So you can just like pull that and open it. it smells good. I'm going to just pour this in the pan. Maybe too warm. Um, I'm going to just get something and mix that up a little bit. Looks like you really don't need, um, I mean, I don't have any oil in this pan. As you can see, some of the, the flesh of this, I mean, it looks like a meaty kind of, uh, you know, you'd look at this and think maybe beef, some sort of at least parts of it. Maybe not all of it, but definitely that would be what you'd think of for part of it. I'm going to have this over some rice. And I put the stove down just so that I warm it without it um, 
you know, being too hot. I could probably put it back up. Like, look at that. I don't know if you can see that. I think this is why it makes great pulled pork, because I'm going to drop this. It looks totally like a meat. That looks like, you know, some sort of shredded beef, shredded pork, or like the, the, the tendons, whatever you call that. It's not tendons, but the fleshy part of beef or pork, it really does look like that. I don't know who discovered this, but it is all the rage in the vegan community now. Alright guys, I'm just trying to make this a one-shot video with no special editing. So I'm just warming this, and let's talk. Um, I hope I like this. There were other flavors, that's right. They had curry. Oh my gosh. I think there was some sort of barbecue. There was a Tex mex so maybe that would even be nice like uh, put into a burrito or tacos i know i've seen jackfruit tacos for sure online i you can always buy your own jackfruit i can't remember if my mom said that you can get the can of the young jackfruit it's not too cheap um but my mother i know already she would not waste any time doing that she would just literally buy the, the the sweet one, which is pretty expensive. We get it at Asian markets. Okay, look at this. Don't want it? I mean, does that not 100% look like flesh right there? Like, look at that. 100%. So one thing I love about veganism, I mean, people are so creative. There are things you'd never think you could bake with, cook with, make into meatless. This I mean, it's just awesome. So the range of creativity goes beyond anything I've ever encountered uh, when it comes to cooking. I think more of these uh, TV shows would be uh, better if they had chefs who created some of these amazing vegan alternatives with ingredients no one would think of. Because the average person has no clue you can make uh, aquafaba meringue. They've got no clue you can bake without eggs butter. Etc. All right, this might be warm enough. Uh, all right, I want to taste. I want to take a piece that's. Um, I guess it doesn't really matter. Okay, there we go. That's not too big. All right. So again, looks like meat. Smells delicious. Oh my god, it tastes delicious. It really tastes delicious. This is delicious, guys. Now, as you eat it, you know, the texture kind of, you know, meat is obviously more chewy and sinewy and all that stuff. So that kind of just, I want to say, melted in my mouth a little more easily than meat would. Like, I think as you eat it, you would know that's not meat. But you don't care because the flavors of this is so delicious. I can't tell you what it reminds me of, but it's like a denser sort of vegetable. It's not a carrot, but you know how carrot has a bit more chewiness to it? So it's definitely something a bit more like that. It's delicious. I would buy this again. My mother also was a little bit concerned. She said, look at the price for this. But you know, this can feed. I mean, we could have three, at least two servings out of this. Depends how much you're going to have this with your rice, some other veggies, etc. So I'm going to have a portion of this, I'm going to save the rest for my mom, and I will um, leave in the comment box, I guess if you guys are curious, because I'm curious too, to tell you what my mother thinks of this. But this is delicious, I'd buy more of this for sure. This is a win, definitely a win for people who enjoy these kind of flavors without having to use meat. You've got other op options right here, guys, and it's delicious. But again, this was, I think, $5.49, so not the cheapest. All right. Thanks for watching. Any questions, hit me up.